Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today, we'll solve our daily challenge using C programming language. First, we'll try to understand our question. Now, we have to accept an integer from the user and get concatenate its last two and the first two numbers as x and y. Now, we have to find the HCF of x and y and if it is not equal to 1, we have to print the value. Otherwise, we have to continue the same process. So let's quickly jump into the code. Now, I'm assigning a variable n as 50245. Now, since we have the boundary conditions as 10 power 3, there will be no overlapping between the last two and the first two numbers. Now, let's get the last two numbers that is 4 and 5 using the modulo operator. The last two equal to n modulo 100 that is 50245 modulo 100 which is 45. Now we have got the last two. So in order to get the first two numbers we are using a while loop. Our condition is if n is greater than or equal to 100 then divide the n by 10 so let us see how this is working now when it, when the n is 50245 is greater than or equal to 100 and it's divided by 10 we'll get 5024 and this 5024 greater than or equal to 100 and it is divided by 10 we'll get 502 and the same process when this 502 is divided by 10 we'll get 50 so we have got our first two numbers that is 50 by using a while loop so first equal to 50 now since our n value is changing we'll assign a temporary variable temp equal to n now we have to get the HCF of the first and the last. HCF of the first, comma, last. Value equal to, equal to, from 0 to min of first, comma, last now if value is not equal to 1 then print temp here we are not using we are not printing n because n values changed so we are using temp now if if our input is not satisfying our conditions we have to print flag as minus 1 so we are initializing a temporary variable flag equal to 0 so if you have some value no if you have some value print flag equal to 1 otherwise if flag equal to equal to 0 print minus 1 so let's have a quick recap i'm assigning an n variable that is 50245 I am getting the last two numbers by using a modulo operator and getting the first two numbers by using a while loop. Okay, this is pretty clear, I think so. Then we are seeing the while loop, the conditions, and we are dividing it by 10. Okay, and we'll get the first as 50. Then We'll find the HCF of the first and the last. If their value is not equal to 1, we'll get printed the temp. Otherwise, if the flag is equal to equal to 0, we'll print minus 1. I hope you guys understand this problem. So guys, now we will implement our program. I will initialize the variable n. I will get the input from the user. Now I will initialize 
the flag variable to get that uh, minus 1 in that flag case and the current variable to get our inputs. Now we'll use a for loop to get our input. CTR less than equal to n. CTR plus plus. Now in order to get our first two and the last two numbers, I'm initializing the variable int first two equal to get first two of current in which I am passing the current variable to the get first two function. I am initializing last two equal to current modulo 100. Here we are using the modulo operation to get the last two numbers. Now we will get the HCF of first and the last. Get HCF of first two comma last two. Now we have to check whether this HCF is not equal to one or not. So if HCF not equal to one print the current variable and also we will change the flag equal to 1. Now we will initialize the function that is the get first two function int get first two of int num we will use a while loop while num greater than equal to 100 then divide the num by 10 num divided by 10. Now return the num. Now we will initialize our next function that is the hcf function. We will use a theorem called the Euclidean theorem here. According to the Euclidean algorithm if b equal to equal to 0 return a else return b sorry else return get hcf of b comma a modulo b now for that flag case when we have to print minus 1 at the times when we are not getting the input that would satisfy our conditions if flag equal to equal to 0 print modulo sorry print minus 1 so yeah we are done guys thanks for watching please like please post your comments or your reviews in the comment box bye until our next video please do like share and subscribe thank you guys